everyone, my name is Sophia. Welcome to this community. Welcome to this Tower Love reading. So what I'm getting is a permanent loss and I'm getting that due to stagnation. Also what I'm getting is the other side is what is coming to me. And what I'm getting from that is to do with There's that saying of the grass isn't greener. And this is for the feminines. It actually, it's connected to the masculines as well. But there's a saying of the grass isn't greener. And I feel with the divine feminines, they're like, well, let me see if the grass is greener on the other side, because I'm getting the other side. And this is also showing your person as well that, yeah, it's about uh, the grass is greener on the other side. And it's showing your person that as well, because they're staying to something that they're unhappy with. It's like, I don't want to say, but it's kind of like that. They're in an unhappy marriage and they have an affair. Instead of leaving the unhappy marriage, getting a divorce, sorting it, they just have an affair. This is like the universe saying to both of you, start afresh, start something new, do it properly. So I think the feminines, like I said, they're like, doing it they're actually leaving and a, a lot of you there's a lot of separations and um this is a time to totally disconnect from your person to find someone else and for your person then to see that oh well, they must totally disconnect from the situation they are there needs to be a total disconnection if not this will be a nightmare all the time this will be, you'll always be, they will, it's like you feed them, so they stay in this connection, um, but you will stay in that connection because you feel it's part of your contract, hence why twin flame feminines are, are getting pushed to go in another direction, to find the other side, because they feel so compelled, like, it's not just like, oh, this is, Although you don't go into mission and be humanitarians and change planet Earth as well, there's something about who are you listening to. Please listen to the tower readers. Um, uh, I'm not saying all tower readers are crap, but I'm saying that, and I, I said this to David as well, there's, there's um, aspects within it, but I said wisdom overrides logic. I said to I just emailed him that. And what that means is that, um, you would say logically, um, yes, it makes sense to do some things in life, but that will that work? Do you see? Is it necessarily correct and things like that? Wisdom it overrides logic because what seems to be right isn't always wise to do. Do you see? Sometimes you have to hide things from children and stuff like that. Do you see, I don't, I didn't bring up telling my son all my debts and stuff like that because I didn't think that's wise because then in, in his brain, um, he wouldn't know about, um, he would know about, oh gosh, when you get older, there's debts and stuff. I focused on the money aspect of entrepreneurship. Do you see, logic was stipulated. Well, it's wise, he'll have to know about life. There's like wisdom overrides logic. So there's something here about um, the feminines feel compelled to stay with their person, right? Man or woman, man or woman, 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 man, man. And that's why the contract is changing for you to both go on the other side. So there is a permanent separation. If that means you permanently separate from your twin flame, so be it. But that separation will teach that person that I'm stuck here. I need to make massive changes and that might lead them coming towards you or same with you, you're stuck here attached to someone who's keeping them stuck there. So this separation is needed, is what I'm getting. Check out the Facebook group, um, tons of additional information in there. <sighs> I posted that, oh, like I said, there's an additional thing of, um, who are you listening to? I was saying tower readers, some are really good and really nice, but they still don't offer massive changes for your life. I don't care if they're better than me, no more than me. Oh, that, that's what I'm saying. They might say, logically, I know far more than you, Sophia. And I'm like, 
But yeah, you might know a hundred times more than me. Wisdom overrides that. What the fuck have you helped people from all, knowing all that? This is this. It's about wisdom coming in. And there was also, um, yeah, who are you listening to? And there was something else. Let's see if that comes up as well. What was everything? I'll go, let me know if I need to. For you to know. Oh, it was to do with, um, I put in the playlist about belief systems. That was, uh, actually, it's quite massive. So that's probably why they reminded me. It's like, there's a lot of you and your person are adamant and thick in this belief of, I am not following anyone. I am my own person. I promise you, I 100% guarantee, I money back guarantee, I'll give you this community, apart from the people that's connected to me, I'll give you all my programs, a counseling session, an image reading, and everything for free. You, my friend, are following your parents' belief system. That is keeping you stuck. The negative connotation. Stop picking it up, though, well, I, I follow the parents, and this is your person as well. I follow the positive aspects of my parents when they used to give me all this love and read me stories. You're following the negative connotation as well. I can promise you that. So please go to the Facebook. I'll put up the video there because this is this as well. You're, there's an arrogance, there's an ego out at the moment of, I'm my own person, I'm doing my own thing. I don't know what you're on about. So why aren't you successful in your life? I promise you, promise you, promise you, you are following a belief system from your parents. Do the test and prove me wrong, right? And you're quite welcome to email me, well, Sheeta runs the, the community as such, and say, look, I've done that test, it's wrong, right? Sophia promised me all the programs and a free image reading and a counseling session. Yeah, email Sheeta, right? If I can prove, uh, uh, like I said, you're listening to people that might have more uh, intelligence in the astrology and stuff but logically are they here to help you who are you listening to there's an arrogance and ego out of uh, um, establishing more credibility with knowledge when it's not the knowledge it's the wisdom of what you're doing what you do with what you know that's why you're twin flame and that's what wands are and wands are connected to the highest hierarchy the algorithm, the uh, alchemical elements of the tree of life, that the top, the cosmic, like Qatar. Because it's wisdom. What you do, what you do with what you know, connected with the magician card, right? That's when you manifest. You can think all the time what you're going to do unless you take appropriate action on what you create. It's pointless. So there's something about that as well. So please go and do that test. Like I said, I put it in the um, in the Facebook group. Right, let's jump in. Oh God, I keep forgetting to put my timer on. Right. Only because if I don't like to time my videos, but uh, this cuts off, and I think that's for a reason, because then you miss the point of what I'm saying now if I waffle off too long onto other things. So I've tried to compact it into a smaller time, which still you get 30 minutes, which is more than most. So just do the little 10, 10 minute thing and think they're transforming your life. Come on now. Nine of swords, six of pentacles, two of swords. Nine of Swords is, um, this is the other people. It's like, you don't want to hear it. In my Nine of Swords, is a woman, she's kind of holding her ears. It's like, I don't want to hear that other people are influencing me. But these other people, friends and family, connected to yesterday's reading, a mine are separated, three of Swords, three of Swords, three of Swords. They're telling you things that are bringing you heartbreak in your life. Like such as, I'll... Uh, don't be silly. Don't go to be a famous singer. You just sing in the local pub. I don't want you to get hurt, Sarah and Louise, because it's so hard to be like Beyonce. It's a one-off. So just sing in the local pub, free of, free of swords. And then 
oh, don't go for your twin flame because oh, they're married and they're, they're, they're no good and they're, they're all once a cheat, always a cheat and all this, three of swords. And you just date Billy Bob, the accountant, he's far better than you, don't care if you don't fancy him, you, you, you have no interest in him, you prefer to go and uh, he's not even what you your cup of tea, who gives a shit, I'm saying he's good for you. Three of swords, three of swords, three of swords, fucking nightmare, other people. I don't know if you can see. Sometimes you see the cards, sometimes you can't. Uh, nightmare. It's a fucking nightmare. And I, like I said, please go do that test. Prove me wrong. Especially the negative Nancy's. Prove me wrong. Do that test. And I'll tell you why I know it works. Because I was adamant from a very young age. I was not going to be like my mum. Because I saw my mum, she just had a load of kids with a guy, twin flame situation, was never around. And majority of her time, she just worked, worked, worked. And when she didn't, and she had time off, she just focused on the boy children. Me and my sister, we felt like we were slaves. And that was her kind of upbringing of sorts. And so therefore, I was like, I'm not going to be following my mum's patterns at all. I knew that from when I was very young. And uh, i done that test. It blew my mind. I was like... Fuck me, I'm still doing her shit. Still doing her shit. And that's when I started to work on myself. Hence, mentoring, right? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about understanding with you and your person, there's no balance. There's no, it's like, there's so many times. Yes, you're a master teacher. Yes, you're an empath. Yes, you're sensitive. Yes, you're, you have sympathy and all that kind of thing. And that teaches you to not just close the door uh, as a master teacher wouldn't and not to judge people. But this nightmare and six of pentacles is saying that the universe is now saying to the feminines, there's enough time for you to say, there, there, I get your situation. It's about an equal give and take and what about what is best for you. So for example, if I'm a master teacher and there's an alcoholic keeps knocking on the door, and I say, yeah, and I let them in and they disrupt all the other people because they're loud, they're drunk, they keep falling over and stuff like that. And I say, come back when you're clean or you're ready to get clean. And they keep coming back, keep coming back. This is the time with the Six of Pentacles and Nine of Swords where I say, look, I'm sorry. I've done my best and I get it. You're an alcoholic and you have reasons why because you don't just wake up with addictions or wake up being rude or wake up with an attitude or whatever other people um, cuss out other people. You don't wake up to be a narcissist. Yes, you have your reasons, but it's now affecting me. I have to keep justifying to other people. I have to, I'm starting to get stressed because you're still drunk. This is this. You have to balance out yourself with the Six and Pentacles. If someone else won't give, give and take, you have to give it to yourself. Two of Swords is this person, it is, this is like ending out this indecision of, because it's like the feminines, you, man or woman, with your person is tiptoeing on eggshells, trying to be the best for your situation over there with your twin flame and with your family and everything. This is about the universe is like, You've done that, now all you. No more two swords. Indecision, should I go back? Because that's making them indecisive. This is like, you cut them off, right? And then, well, it depends where you are, but the universe is like kind of cutting that off now. I think um, for next year, obviously, the new wave of whatever uh, of uh, purpose that the planets have for humanity so they're killing off these kind of relationships that are just not working, that are a nightmare, regardless how long you've been in this situation. But if you've worked on it correctly, right, then there should be a possibility for that person to come back. If they don't come back, I feel that the feminines, you that are watching, very strongly, right, you will attract someone else. And I feel you have a knowing not that you're going to attract something else, but you have a knowing to kind of come away from your twin flame or knowing to go into another direction too. Two of swords. Logicating another way of doing it, right? 
not this path, because two is path, another path. And that's what I feel that this is what the planets are doing. Four of Swords, Seven of Cups, yeah, Delusions, Emperor. Now the Four of Swords is it's a fucking nightmare. And I said with the Three of Swords, Three of Swords, Three of Swords, um, you keep getting heartbreak. This is like ending out this fucking last heartbreak situation of another fucking excuse or something that gives you heartbreak. Like I said, go out with Billy Bob, that's heartbreaking, you don't want to do that. Fuck off from your twin flame, well that's heartbreaking because you don't want to do that. You can't talk to your family about being uh, a twin flame, about being gay. Whatever, whatever this situation is with family, friends, your twin flame, it's like the planets is now healing this properly. Not healing it so you can keep going back to the fucking heartbreak, which is a nightmare. They're saying, no, let's cut, like I said, this is the death card, this is end. I didn't say it's a death card, but this is ending it out. For sure. But like I said, the initial energy, there's a permanent ending. This is this reading. Seven of Cups is stop being delusional, head in the clouds, wishing, okay, well, we'll try this. Well, that didn't work, I'll try that. That didn't work, I'll try this. That didn't work, I'll try that. That's this delusion, this, this head in the clouds. This is like smoking weed. Smoking weed um, gives you all these ideas and makes you feel invincible, right? And um, I'm not dissing... Um, um, if, this kind of, if, if, if you're allowed to have fucking pubs, and once again, Mr. Logic, David, told me this, why can't we smoke weed? Think about that. Like I said, wisdom, right? Think about that properly, right? You can go into the drugs, into a pub. In fact, they encourage student discounts. So they want you to get drunk and fucked up at a very young age with student discounts in pubs. So you can go into pubs and get fucking um, addicted to alcohol is worse than weed. I've got to make that clear. Addicted to alcohol is worse than weed. So they can, they, 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 they're allowed to have that. Right? You can drink, you can buy it in a, in a shop locally and get drunk at any age, really. Right? You can get someone to buy it for you, but they ban weed. Because weed gives you the intelligence to think about going for things in your life. Right? But this, like I said, Seven of Cups is my weed card because most people that do weed, when they, when, in the morning or when after they smoke it, when it, the calm down, whatever it is, I've had a drag of it, it knocked me out. When I was about 16, and I thought, no, you can fuck that, right? Um, so I haven't really uh, smoked it. But my point is, is that uh, I know uh, most of the people I know smoke it. When they come down, it's like, oh, the, the reality is I've got kids, or I can't, or I'm busy, I'll do it later. That's the seven of cups. And that's what's happening with you and your situation in your life. Right? with your twin flame. There's no balance. They're delusional and making their bullshit excuses of, oh, well, I ain't going to come with you Saturday, so I'll meet you next Saturday. Or I'm going to um, tell the baby's mum something. Or, I'm going to tell the family. I'm going to open up. This is to, it's fucking with your emotions. It's cuts. Right? And it's not creating any balance. It's ending out. It's also ending out the control. It's like, it's not the devil card, but it's like your person is trying to still control, like, empires. The emperor controls empires, meaning that, like, I'm going to control the family life, the wife stay over there with the kids, that's them. You meet me around me sorting out the wife and the kids, then I'll sort out my job around you and the wife and the kids, man or woman, whatever, that's the empire. And that's what's cre creating you now, because the two swords, the swords are up. So it's like, logically, you thought this was okay, now you're choosing something. And you must go with them, with the blindfold. This is a positive aspect of the two of swords. Two of swords is known, the negative, the indecision, indecision. The positive, with the two swords up, is choosing another choice, which is good for you. Right? And with the blindfold, the negative is not seeing. The positive is you don't see. You go insight, inner vision, inner knowing, on to choose another truthful path for you, which there isn't someone who's controlling empires around you.
that's what I feel what's going on with the with you. So ending out the past situations. If you need help with that, pick someone in this community who will help you with mentorship. As they, as I, as I helped them. Everyone needs a mentor in life, right? <laughs> and um, I can guide you, but then I help you in your career. That's why they stay here. Because it's not like, oh, I'm mentoring them for three, four years. I do as well, but obviously we're in a mission. We work, this is, a, this is an organization, this is a business. We all work together as a team. So it's not like they're here just for my mentoring. This is, that, that, that happens naturally when I um, talk to them, but I also mentor, um, like I said, it's a career. So I help them with their channel, their off-site uh, off work, on-site as well, obviously YouTube, off-site is their 3D, uh, that could be the 3D job, that could be the, uh, um, the boots on the ground, which I call it humanitarian, volunteering work. That's why we're still here. In case you think, oh, fucking hell, I'm not doing the mentoring because these lot have been here forever. No, we, this, is a, this is a business. We work as a team as a business. We're offering the service to help you to mentor to you get better in life. If that takes a month, well done you, brilliant. If it takes longer, it takes longer. So don't confuse that everyone's been up here is you need to be doing mentor, mentoring for years. Nothing is a contract in this community, right? It's up to you. I don't want no one in the community that is, um, feels like they have to do it. So it's the freedom for you. If you do one mentoring and you don't like it, leave. Alchemy, it's a mirror. <clears throat> As I said in the video yesterday, it's all to do with the mirror. This is about taking consistent action on planet Earth. And this is like um, I said, when you want things in life, and I mentioned the situation about you want to be a singer, but you're just working in a pub. That's the start. Then next. Then what do you do next? Well, okay, I've worked in a pub for a year. Maybe try to get a pub in a main town. Or maybe try to go to theatre. Maybe try to do some singing lessons. It's consistent action. This isn't consistent action. This is same old, same old. With your person, you're seeing the reflection of the same old. But hear me now, you are doing the same old. What changes are you making? That is, like I said, this is to do with wisdoms. Your twin flame, the flame is the wand. Oh, Sophia, fuck you. I've done Reiki, acupuncture, yoga, meditation. Well done, but what changes has it made by you doing that? That's wisdom, right? That's wisdom. If you come new to my channel, it's like popular doesn't mean it's good. You can go to someone with a million subscribers and thousands of views. If they're not changing anyone's lives or actively doing things to change people's lives, which is making changes, not just doing a video and a chat video, like going to volunteer themselves, then it's not wise, is it? It doesn't matter how many views they have. Consistent action, uh, progression of the physical, right? Then you will know. And it's a mirror with your twin flame. So if someone's up there and they're constantly just doing the same old, same old, other tower readers, they don't change, do they? They just do the same old, even Tony Robbins and all these other people, they're always, it's always coming out with new programs, it's doing new events. People up on YouTube with their thousands of views before the virus, which anyone could have went up and got a video and got views and got eyeballs. The algorithm put it out there. So they arrogantly and irresponsibly and, that's another word, um, think, oh, well, people are watching me, but it's a habit. You just watch them, oh, look, this crap video is up again, I'm going to just watch it. doesn't mean they're good. It just means that it's, they were up there before the virus and the algorithm was, let's promote the videos, let's get more successful, let's be override um, other platforms or social media. Now, since then, it's very hard because everyone just went onto the internet to get a job because the physical world there wasn't no job stability. Anyway, so consistent action is taking the correct consistent action. 
So if you have a mirror in your life of just seeing the same old, same old, then you're watching someone who's doing it. Like I said, look, now we're doing mentoring. Yesterday's video, I said, I have something else up my sleeve for mission people. This wasn't a plan. This was a download of what to do. And I've been thinking about it for a while, but I make sure I do it. If they're not progressing, who you're watching, they're doing the same old eyeballs on me. Connecting with another spiritual leader to show off with you and someone else on the channel. Oh, I've written a new book. Same old, same old shit. Then this is you attracting same old shit. You need to do something different since this is the fool's journey. Taking the risk and doing something new. Let's close it out. Hopefully I don't have to snip and stitch this video. <sighs> If it cuts out, or I just, well, yeah, if I, it just cuts out, it cuts out because it's long, because I didn't put my timer on. I apologise, but. Okay. I love you, I just don't say it. Not good enough. I, I just keep getting that. It's like, the universe is like, it's not good enough. You, ha you want things in life, you got to go get it, babe. So it's not saying it. It's like Simon Cowell saying to you, why do you want to be a singer? And you don't say it. Why? It's not good enough anymore, right? And I think that's how you're feeling with your twin flame. And this is what the universe is saying. Go get what you want. That's what this is. I need you to make sense of this connection. You need to understand this connection. Not your person, right? You. Because your person, generally the feminines you watch go towards your person. You normally go towards so They don't need to know. Is you need to know so you know when to pull away. You know when to come away and, and work on yourself and what this is about. You need to know about this connection, mentorship. I feel lost and lonely without you. Like I said at the beginning, the initial energy, this time now is teaching you both during this month, let's just say, that do you really want this person? How much do they mean to you? And stuff like that in your life. The feminines, if you're just bending over backwards for six of pentacles and two of swords, right, fed up with the indecision and the controlling behavior of how they run things, then you will see that um, you will be moving on to bigger and better things. That your person will see um, that they need to move on from what they've got over there. It depends, really, with this card, how much work you've done, right? But this is what this is teaching you. So, okay, check out the, do that test. I told you, go to do that test. And uh, I challenge you to do it. If you think, no, 100% I'm not following uh, my, uh, my family, my parents, your parents' tradition of negative, right, patterns, right? If you're 100%, allow me to prove you wrong. Go do that test, right? And then book someone to help you to change that. Because your mindset, if you pass that test or whatever, I can't remember what it is, and you're like, yeah, I am following, then you need help to come out of that. Because you arrogantly are saying, no, I don't need to do the test because I'm not following it. So you do the test and your being thinks you're not doing it. So you need help to change your being from thinking that you are not something that you are. You all need help with that. Hopefully that makes sense. Go do the test. Speak to you later.